Hello to all. Today we are going to discuss about the second part of the stomach and that is a very important part and that is the gastric glands. We know very well that gastric glands are found in stomach and these gastric glands secrete gastric juice. Okay. And this gastric juice is having the acidic pH because of the HCL. Okay. Now these gastric glands are found in numerous numbers. Right? They are they are present in large quantity. So they are numerous, they are very small, microscopic, they are simple tubular glands and they are formed by the invagination of the epithelium. They are formed by the infolding or the invagination of the epithelium in the stomach. And four types of the cells are present. Four types of remember, four types of the cells are present in the epithelium of the gastric glands, and these four types of the cells are the number one is the chief cells, the number two is the auxentic cells, number three is the mucus neck cells, and the number four is enteroendocrine cell, which are popularly also called as Argentifin cells. Okay, now let's discuss the first uh, type of the cells which is present in the epithelium of the gastric gland. The first cell is chief cells or the peptic cells or the gymogen cells. Okay, now these uh, cells secrete, these cells secrete proenzymes or gymogens. These cells secrete proenzymes or gymogens, say for pepsinogen and prodenin. Two types of the gymogens or the proenzymes are secreted by the chief cells, right? Pepsinogen and prodenin. Now, chief cells are also called as peptic cells. They are also called as gymogen cells. Again, I am repeating. Chief cells can also be called it as peptic cells or they can also be called it as gymogen cells. Not only the uh, pepsinogen and the proteinin are secreted by these chief cells, these chief cells also secrete a small quantity of gastric amylase enzyme and gastric lipase enzyme. But remember one thing that the action of the gastric amylase enzyme is inhibited by the highly acidic HCL found in the stomach. And that's why there is no digestion of carbohydrate done in the stomach. Okay. Because why gastric amylase is inhibited by the action of the HCL. But a small quantity of the gastric lipase enzyme which is secreted in the stomach contributes in little digestion of the fat. A very small quantity of the fat is digested in the stomach, especially the fat present in the milk is digested by the gastric lipase enzyme and remember one thing that the two pro enzymes pepsinogen and pro renin are actually converted into active enzymes by the action of the HCL secreted by the auxentic cells so HCL act on pepsinogen which is inactive and because of which the pepsinogen is converted into active pepsin and remember pepsin is the main protein digesting enzyme found in the stomach and pro renin is inactive so HCL act on this prorenin and prorenin is converted into renin. Remember that this renin is again a proteolytic enzyme, protein digesting enzyme and it is found in the gastric juice of the infants. It is found in the gastric juice of infants. In adults the renin is totally absent and in infants this renin is helpful in the digestion of the milk protein. Fine. So these were the cheap cells or the peptic cells or the gymogen cells. Now, Second important thing, cell that is auxentic cells. Auxentic cells are also called as parietal cells. Now they are large, they are large, they are most numerous type of the cells found in the epithelium of the gastric glands and they are present on the side walls of the gastric glands. Remember, these chief cells are found at the basal uh, wall, at the basal region of the gastric glands, but they are present on the side walls of the gastric glands. And the question arises that why they are called as the auxentic cells. So they stain strongly, they stain strongly with uh, acidic dye known as the eosin. They, they are staining strongly with the acidic dye known as the eosin dye and hence they are also called as the auxentic cells. And the prime role of these auxentic cells is to secrete the HCL, the very very important role right of the auxentic cell is to secrete the HCL. Now the question arises 
that what is the role of the HCL? What is the role of the HCL in the stomach? So the HCL convert just now you have seen that the HCL convert the pepsinogen and the proreninin, right? Which were the proenzymes secreted by the chief cells into active pepsin and active renin. So the first role is they convert pepsinogen to pepsin and proreninin to renin. Pepsinogen to pepsin, proreninin to renin. They also destroy the bacteria found in the food because HCl is highly acidic. Its pH is 1.5 to 2 and because of which it destroys the bacteria which have entered into the stomach along with food. It also dissolves hard, pro hard portions of the food and makes the food soft. It, it dissolves all the hard form of the food into the softer food form. Not only the auxentic cells are secreting the HCl but the auxentic cells also secrete a very important factor in the stomach and that is known as the castle intrinsic factor that is known as the castle intrinsic factor now the, again the question arises that if HCl is having so much of functions then is there any function of the castle intrinsic factor uh, in the stomach which is secreted by the auxentic cell so yes it is absorbing the vitamin B12 in stomach means it absorbs cyanocobalamin or I can say it absorbs vitamin B12 in stomach okay so this was the very important the most numerous cells found in the epithelium of the gastric gland known as the auxentic cell now coming to the third cell and that is the mucus neck cells they are present throughout the surface epithelium they are present throughout the surface of the epithelium and as the name is indicating that the mucus cells will be releasing mucus mucus cells will be releasing mucus and mucus protects the stomach wall from the harmful effect of highly acidic HCl. Now the fourth one, these are very very important and uh, I have tried to explain the enteroendocrine cells or the argentafin cells in details because in books you will be not getting the details of these particular cells. Okay, so kindly concentrate here. Enteroendocrine cells or the argentafin cells, the fourth type of the cells, they are also present at the basal part of the gastric glands and they are differentiated into how many types of cells? Three types of cells. These argentafin cells are differentiated into three types of the cells. The number one is the D cells. The number one is the D cells. These D cells release somatostatin. These D cells release somatostatin. Now the question arises, what is the role of the somatostatin in the human body? So somatostatin suppresses, means inhibit the release of hormones from the digestive tract. We know very well that many hormones are released by the digestive tract. So the D cells, D cells secrete somatostatin and the somatostatin is actually having the role to inhibit or to suppress the release of the hormones from the digestive tract. Is it clear? So first one is clear, somatostatin. Second one is the enterochromophin like cells, very important. Enterochromophin like cells which are in short also called as ECL, enterochromophin like cells, okay? And they secrete serotonin, they secrete serotonin and histamines. They secrete serotonin and histamines. Now again the question arises, what is serotonin? So I have given the explanation here. Serotonin is a vasoconstrictor, means it constricts the diameter of the blood vessels and it stimulates the smooth muscles, it stimulates the smooth muscles. Histamines, they are having the opposite role. Serotonin is a vasoconstrictor while histamine dilates the wall of the blood vessel. It actually uh, increases the diameter of the blood vessels while the serotonin constricts the diameter of the blood vessels. And at last G cells, very important cells. G cells secrete gastrin. G cells secrete gastrin. And gastrin is very very important one. Now this gastrin hormone stimulates the gastric glands. It stimulates the gastric glands to release gastric juice. Means gastrin hormone stimulates the gastric gland so that the gastric gland may release gastric juice. Okay, so the gastric glands and the four types of the cells present in the epithelium of the gastric glands we have discussed today. That is the chief cells, the auxentic cells, mucus neck cells, and enteroendocrine cells and argentafin cells. Okay, so this part was very very important. I have seen that uh, at least uh, 7 to 8 times in various exams the questions from this section have been asked. Okay, So this was all about the stomach and the gastric glands. In the next upcoming videos we will be discussing with the 
intestine part which is very very important section of the alimentary canal first we'll be studying the small intestine and then the large intestine so keep watching thanks a lot Thank you.